10 fragrances to wear if you break backs. Now, I know a lot of you have been asking me for this video since I posted my one yesterday of fragrances to wear if you're trying to get your back blown out. So here's the other one. Now, the first one I'm going to mention is a unisex fragrance called Carlisle by Parfums de Marly. And there's going to be a couple from this house because not only are they beast mode sexy fragrances, but they're also very mass appealing. So when you step out there in the real world, a lot of people around you, probably 95, no, 98% of people around you are not gonna be wearing Parfums de Marly. It's popular in the fragrance community, but out there, no, it's not. A lot of people don't know the brand. But this fragrance is kind of like dark royalty, in my opinion. It's mysterious, it's alluring. There's this sort of Middle Eastern twist in the opening. It kind of smells a bit medicinal with some apple, and then it dries down with this really sensual, smoky kind of vibe. So I do find it very unique. It's a fragrance that just screams sex appeal to me. And it's just like, regardless of who it's on, honestly, no, there has to kind of be a little bit of this, this little, you know, like this rebellious kind of aura. I think it's very attractive if you, if you have that going on, you know what I'm saying? But regardless, the fragrance itself is a masterpiece and I'm gonna leave everything linked in the description. So the first one, Carlisle by Parfums de Marly. Next is another PDM and it's Herod. Herod is a cherry tobacco fragrance. Even though I don't think there's cherry listed in it, it smells like cherry tobacco to me. And it's more of like a burning leafy tobacco. So I don't find it to be as smooth. I do find it to be a little bit rugged. However, it's cozy sexy. So it's a fragrance you can wear if you're trying to get raunchy. And then after that, have some cuddles with your significant other or whoever you're around. So Herod is marketed to men. However, there's a lot of girls that really do like wearing that fragrance because it doesn't scream super masculine at all. And I think, side note, usually when fragrances have this unisex kind of appeal to them, a lot of girls find it really, really sexy. I'm just gonna throw that in there. So you take that as you will. Next is gonna be a fragrance I don't have, Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. That one took a while to grow on me, the first and only time I wore it, but it's made such a great impression and the reactions that I got from it and the DMs I've received about that fragrance are undeniable. People find that really, really sexy. Now for me, I find it more on the cozy side, but I think that it has a comforting quality to it that just makes it really approachable. So on my skin, it smells like gingerbread cookies. It smells like Christmas, reminds me of winter time. And the first five to six hours, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. All I'm getting is gingerbread cookie. I wasn't really getting much of a tobacco vibe, but around the sixth hour, that's when the vanilla started mixing in with it and it turned it sweeter. And I was like, oh man, now I understand. And I just couldn't stop sniffing my wrist, even though I didn't have to put my nose to my wrist. It was already just all around me with one spray. So I definitely love that one. There's so many women in a trance with that fragrance for all the right reasons. It's a beast, also performs over 12 hours. Next is another Tom Ford. We're doing doubles, at least in the first four, but it's Oud Wood. So this is the most fresh fragrance out of the current four that I've mentioned. And this is a unique, fresh, woody scent. Now I know when you hear Oud, if you're new to fragrances, you probably heard that, oh, it's a barnyard kind of scent. Not this one. To me, this doesn't smell like Oud at all. It just smells like a bunch of different woods and it's aromatic. It's fresh, it's something that floats in the air. It's nothing too heavy, nothing too dense. You can wear this when it's really hot outside and it'll be fine. I know performance is poor, so definitely overspray it if you have the chance to. But, oh gosh, this is also another unisex fragrance. Everything in the private blends are usually marketed as unisex. So, damn, this is really, really sexy. I love this. Even when I wear this on myself, I'm just like, you, what are you, what are you trying to, I'm flirting with myself, you know? So let's go with Oud Wood by Tobacco Vanille. Next, for my fifth one, I am going to mention another freshie, which is Elysium by Raja Parfums. Easy to like, mass appealing, and usually with the private blends I'm suggesting and these niche fragrances, even though these are considered popular in the fragrance community, like they're still unique enough and still have that mass appeal that if you're wearing them out there in the real world, people are going to compliment you on these. These are people pleaser fragrances, 
but they don't smell like your typical designers that everybody else is wearing, like the Bleu de Chanel Dior Sauvage. Like I don't recommend Dior Sauvage for like a sexy fragrance because it smells like every dude ever nowadays. But Elysium is this lemon cocktail kind of fragrance. And the reactions I've gotten from this, when I wear it, I just feel nice. And like, I didn't really get much of a sexy vibe at first until the compliments started rolling in. And I was like, damn, people really find this juice attractive. And at first I didn't understand it. Like I liked wearing it, but now I'm like, there is something, there's obviously sex appeal in this bottle that just when it's in the air, when it's up close, people just can't resist. So this is marketed to men. However, usually with lemony fragrances, it can pass as unisex. No one has ever called me out and been like, you smell like a man. Like that happened with Blue de Chanel, wherever it is, but you know, a lot of men's colognes that a lot of people have smelled, smell like that, so of course. But with this one, people think it's perfume. On my skin, again, skin chemistry, huge thing. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the beast. I've been talking about this one a lot, but I, the reason I'm actually mentioning it, besides the fact that it is really sexy, is because one of my followers, I can't, bro, I can't remember what your name is, but you, you're gonna know I'm talking about you. He said that he has a ton of fragrances, but out of everything in his collection, his wife is very, very picky. This is the only one she considers like utterly, ridiculously sexy. So Rasala by Arabian Oud, for those like, this is a fragrance. Yes, it gets everybody's attention, but it's also that scent that like, you know, those people that are kind of very like nitpicky with certain things, how they're like, oh yeah, like I've smelled that. And I'm not talking about people in the fragrance community, just people out there in general. This scent always seems to just do the trick. It's a fragrance that I would rock only if you're really bold and confident. I think that if you're very much, you know, shoulders in, quiet, and you're wearing this fragrance, it's not gonna shine at its fullest potential because this is obnoxious as fuck. Like this scent smells like oud, saffron, rose. There's also chocolate and vanilla, but those sweet notes really don't come into the fragrance until the eighth to the 10th hour. So if you're looking for a scent that is gonna last you for your weekend trip in Vegas, literally, if you spray this on your first day in Vegas, it will still be on you until like, like if you go there Friday, leave Sunday, the fragrance will still be on you since Friday. So that's just how long lasting this scent is. Rasala by Arabian Oud. Now, so it's four, five, six. My seventh choice, oh, come on now. Cidra Pose by Mansara. This is another one that just always gets me the best compliments. I think this is the best signature scent, fresh and clean fragrance, if you're talking about sex appeal and longevity, okay? Because I love Elysium, but to me, Cidra Bose lasts longer. Now I know people, when they see this, they're like, what about Hasavat? And I do like it, but the reason I'm not recommending it for this video is just because there's something about this that wins out. Like for me personally, if you wanna rock Hasavat, you can, and I still love it. It's a beast of a fragrance, but I find Cidra Bose to smell more attractive. So this opens up smelling very fruity. There's some black currant in it. It honestly smells like walking in a Jamba Juice to me. And then it dries down with this woody base and everything just mixes together and it's heavenly. So five sprays of this fragrance has lasted me over 24 hours, no problem. And I didn't have to put my nose to my skin. I only did it in my, um, you know, one behind each ear, the back of my neck and the backs of my shoulder blades. And with me just walking around or me just working at my desk, I still smelt it. I still smelt it. So this has no problem with longevity, performance, scent trail. Next is, come on now, sex in a bottle right here. This is Tuxedo by YSL. You see how much juice is left in this? I'm only keeping it because I'm gonna be sad when this fragrance runs out, but this is YSL's private blend. This is unisex as well, so drop will say is unisex as well, but this fragrance right here gets mouth-watering reactions, okay? It smells very fresh, clean green in the opening, but then it dries down with this really boozy bourbon vanilla, okay? So something about it is just very addictive, and I mean, I love smelling it on myself. I fall in love with myself when I wear it, and also the reactions that I've gotten from other people with this fragrance have been on another level, very similar to the reactions with La Nuit de L'Homme when I was first testing it, but this is just like, 
Like if, if Lanui is right here, this will just take it up a few levels, most definitely. So Tuxedo by YSL. Only downside about this is the performance is kind of whack. So you would have to overspray it. And I know when you have a fragrance that's like 200 something ish dollars, you're like, damn, do I really want to overspray this? I get that. But this one I feel like really does have to be oversprayed. So the next one is a Killian. I talked about Angel Share in the last video, but I'm going to mention Black Phantom. Black Phantom, if you just remember what I said about Carlisle being a dark, mysterious fragrance, this is in the same category. Okay, this fragrance smells like dark chocolate, there's rum, there's also some coffee which makes it really addicting and people want to smell it over and over and over again. This is a fragrance that definitely captures the attention from everybody in the room. I love this scent, easily performs over eight hours. In my opinion, I like smelling it on other people more than I like wearing it because I find it to be a bit too heady, but this is also a very kind of dominant present fragrance. Also very unisex. If a woman wears this, such a femme fatale fragrance. If a guy wears it, it definitely gives off just very assuring type of vibes. Well, you know, regardless of who wears this, it's just very much confident, composed, sexy. Black Phantom by Killian. All right, so we did three. I'm, I was like, I had it in my head which ones I was picking, but then I think I went off on random ones because I'm like, oh wait, that's sexy. So I did one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna see me count six, seven, eight, nine. Now we have to pick our last one. And usually, I mean, Layton would be really, really solid, but because I did three other Parfums de Marley's, I'll just make that an honorable mention, but Layton is an apple, vanilla, cardamom fragrance. But the last one, I'm not gonna say side effect because you hear me talk about that a lot, but just know that that one's so, so good. Egypt by Aiton Bob. Egypt by Aiton Bob is a jewel, bro. Spicy cardamom fragrance. This is, oh shit. Damn, and you probably saw this on my last list if you watched that video, but regardless of who this on, who this is, who this on, who this is on, it's just really, really attractive. This lasts over eight hours. I do find this to kind of be a dry, sexy fragrance, you know? It's not super heavy, but there's something to it that is just like, like if you've tried that fragrance African Leather by Memo Paris and you like it, but you don't find it that attractive up close, I think this is a better smelling version of African Leather, in my opinion. Like I prefer this over African Leather, but if you've tried that scent, they kind, they kind of go in the same direction. This one, though, is very much like a Prince of Persia type of scent. Another femme fatale kind of fragrance definitely has that X factor to it. When you smell it, definitely will make you stand out from the crowd. This is somebody that is just like <sighs> the confidence that oozes out of this fragrance when you wear it. Very, very sexy and attractive. So those are my 10 right now. Maybe I'll do one with more designers in another video. But like short, long story short, if the bottle is black, it's probably going to be sexy, but that's actually, that might not be a very true statement, but at least I'm looking at my bottles here like super sexy, Mercedes-Benz Club Black, Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf, Prada Black, like even La Nuit de L'Homme, Dior Homme, all fantastic fragrances, but anyways, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.